Hello, my name is Nick and I'm one of the occasional preachers in this parish of Walton on Thames. Welcome to this reflection for Saturday the 23rd of October. It continues our look at St John's Gospel. It's on John chapter 16 verses 23 to the end. If you'd like to read the passage, please pause the video now. This is a reflection about asking and receiving. Let's start with a question. Have you ever found that in order to solve a problem or issue, you had to make a call to a call centre? Did you wait a long time to be connected? Were you cut off? Did you try again and finally when you got to speak to someone, they could not help, but took your details and promised that someone else would phone you back? Maybe there was no return call, so you had to phone the call centre and go through the whole rigmarole again until eventually you got the help you needed. If you try to escalate the issue, often there is no manager available, so you have to send an email. Did you get a response? It has certainly happened to me and it's infuriating, although I must say that some organisations have excellent staff who can speedily resolve issues. When you're getting nowhere and have been given the runaround, you may decide to go to the top, to the chief executive officer, to see if they can make things happen. This was a case in point that our treasurer was having because he had been trying for many months to resolve an issue with one of the parish's bank accounts. In sheer frustration, he wrote to the CEO of the bank, demanding action, and if nothing was resolved quickly, then he would lodge an official complaint. Well, he was contacted quickly, not by the CEO, but by a manager. And, after much toing and froing, including visits to the local branch, the issue was finally resolved weeks after the letter was written. I wonder, did that CEO ever get to hear about the issue? Or was the letter in intercepted before it got to their desk? We'll never know, because no communication received from the CEO. For the Jews, communication with God was via the priests who interceded on their behalf. There was no direct line. In this passage, Jesus makes it clear that there is a direct line. There is no need for third parties. The key to this message is belief in Jesus. In verse 23, Jesus said, Very truly I tell you, my Father will give you whatever you ask in my name. In verse 26, Jesus says again that when you pray, you must ask in his name. It was so important that the disciples understood this. He makes it clear that he will not ask the Father on their behalf. They must do it because they have a direct line. This must have been a revelation to the disciples. They can have direct access to God through their belief in Jesus. This is the new way. The reason that they would be heard by God was given in verse 27. Jesus said, The Father himself loves you because you have loved me and have believed that I came from God. These were words of great consolation to the disciples and they are words for us as well to take to heart. Further on, the, the disciples responded to Jesus' plain speaking, saying, This makes us believe that you came from God. To which Jesus challenges back, Do you now believe? Questioning them, as he knows that imminently they will be facing the terrible events leading up to his death on the cross, and that their belief in him will be severely tested. They will run away in great fear. Later, through the gift of the Holy Spirit, their belief is reinforced and they go out to tell the good news about Jesus. When you read this passage in John's Gospel, they echo what Matthew wrote in his Gospel in one of the sections on the Sermon on the Mount. In chapter 7, verse 7, Jesus said, Ask and it will be given to you. Search and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened. It is our 
belief and faith in Jesus as the Son of God, our Saviour, which gives us a direct line to God when we pray in Jesus' name. We will be heard. There are no intermediaries to interfere with the message. There are no delays. We are not suddenly cut off. We are not asked to call back. We get through immediately each and every time. We may or may not get, seem to get an immediate answer to our prayer or may never know the answer if we are praying for someone else, but God will act in his time. In verse 33, Jesus said, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart. I have overcome the evil one. Our love for Jesus and therefore our love for God means that we can have an inner peace given to us as we face the joys and struggle of everyday life because of God's love for us. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, through your Holy Spirit, help us to grow in faith and love for Jesus so that our prayers can come direct to you. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Saviour. Amen. Enjoy the rest of your day.